Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love, the self-love makeover artist where I teach beautiful soulful women just like you learn how to love yourself, trust your intuition and manifest your heart's true desires. Now today I want to talk to you about a very important topic and the reason why is it's been something that's been coming up in my life which usually means astrologically it's going to be coming up in yours. Now this is all about the law of attraction relationships and how do you know when to hold on and when to let go. Now this is a really beautiful topic to talk about and I wanted to share with you my personal experiences on my journey to learn to love myself, trust my intuition and manifest my desires. The journey to self-love, let me just do a quick little disclaimer. The journey to self-love looks completely different to every single one of us. And along the journey, we're gonna notice some similarities. Why? Because we're human and when we're shining bright, people don't really like it. And I feel like some people really like it when you're dull and you're boring and you're depressed and you moan. People don't like it when you're positive, when you're happy, when you're high vibrational, when you're doing your self-love practices, you're releasing blockages and you are basically vibrating in the frequency of love. You will notice there will be people around you. There'll be two types of people. One that will support you, they'll worship the ground you walk on and they will be so wrapped for you. They're the people I want you to keep into your life. They are high vibrational souls and they have your best interests at heart. Love them. The other types of people, this is the contrast that you will, um, hopefully you don't experience, but you may. These are people that say nasty things to you behind your face. They are people that don't have your best interests at heart. Those people, let me just tell you something about that. Whatever they are saying to you, it is just you're mirroring to them their reflection and that you have changed and they haven't. Oh, I just heard that song. When will my reflection change? Who I am inside. That was so weird, a little Disney breakdown. Um, so it's so interesting because it's like you have changed, but then they're looking at you and it's just a reflection of their own self-hate and they are wishing that they were you um, or they're jealous of you, which is even worse. And it's so sad, but it's like the journey to self-love requires a crap ton of work. There's a lot of work when you're releasing blockages and you're making yourself a priority by doing your self-love practices. And when you feel so good, you don't want to be around those negative energies. And what I have noticed on my journey, those low vibrational souls, I've had to phase out of my life. There has been so many because I find that there are so many people that don't actually want to do the work. They would rather take a quick fix. People don't want to do the work. And what's truly beautiful about you and you showing up and watching this video and making yourself an effort and by downloading my self club starter kit and you know, doing those three strategies that I teach you in that free self love starter kit, which is in the description, by the way, you know, you're making yourself a priority. You're literally showing up each day going, universe, I am where I am and it's okay. I am where I am and it's enough. I am where I am and it's okay because it's all that I've got. And you're saying, I love my bed. I love my pillow. I love my beautiful partner. I love that we're moving house very, very shortly. And I love that I've got this beautiful towel here as a fake backdrop to show you that there's no furniture in my house because I'm moving. I'll tell you all about that in my success story update. I've got a two month one combined. It's going to be epic. Um, by the way, I manifest moving to the beach. What? I know. Um, you know, there's so many beautiful things and that's like, there's so much contrast that has come up for me recently. Like Peter and I, we are in a one bedroom house now. This is going to sound so weird to some of you that are not minimalist or in the tiny living mindset. We've outgrown the house. Not outgrown in the, in the sense that, you know, we want a bigger house. We've outgrown it in the sense that this house is too flipping big for us and we're moving into a studio. And I remember showing my friends, uh, my family this and they laughed in my face and they were like, ha 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 ha, your bed is in your kitchen. And I was like, ha 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 ha, you have a $500,000 mortgage. No, that was upstream, let's cancel that. We've got 17 seconds to change that. Okay, um, I love that I get to experience contrast with my family. I love that I'm so different and I don't follow the crowd. And I love that Peter and I are moving to the beach and I love that, you know, we're manifesting a new bed and I love that we get to deck it out with plants and I love that my house is 200 meters from the beach. Okay, sorry, I just, 
I just wanted to show you the techniques that I literally do because, you know, I'm not perfect. I slip up, I, you know, and the contrast can be so frustrating. And it's like the contrast usually comes from the people that love you the most, but they want you to stay the same because, you know, that's comfortable. Um, but I just wanted to let you know, there's two things. Let's just go over it again. Two, not two. <laughs> um, that if someone has your best interests at heart and they support you 100%, they are beautiful people. And the people that don't just means that you're shining a light that's too bright for them to comprehend. And they're like, ah, like, why are you doing that? But what I have noticed along my journey, because I've been on the self-love journey for like seven years now from like transitioning to, to get rid of toxic relationships to becoming vegan and curing everything. Like veganism, well, whole food, plants literally cured my whole body, mind and soul. And I think that's the little secret that's helped me to become so spiritual and to become psychic and read for you beautiful souls. And you know, as you learn to love yourself and become happy, people hate it. And you know, you plant seeds along the way. Like my mom, mom, if you're watching, I love you, is the perfect example. I was planting seeds with her um, for years. I think it was like two years that I was vegan before my mom became vegan and she became vegan because it got to the point where she had osteoporosis and I had told her that meat and dairy, especially dairy, basically will start to leach the calcium out of your body and you're gonna be breaking your bones from the inside out. Essentially, that's what happened. Anyway, she broke her back. She's now vegan. My mom was always like, she's got some resistance to me in certain things, especially with the tiny house living. She doesn't understand that. But she supports me, but then all of a sudden she'll say something and she'll be like, what? Oh, that's really small, Mel. You're moving into that small space? I was like, oh my God, mum. Wait till Peter and I move into a camper van. That's the next trip, you know? And it's just like, my mom is a perfect example. It's like, she's always one step behind me, but eventually as I start planting these seeds and she starts things, seeing things from a different way, she's just like, oh, that makes sense, doesn't it? Like, why would you want to work so much and have a massive mortgage when you could, you know, work less and have a smaller uh, um, amount of bills to pay and spend more time with the people that you love because family is the most important thing in the whole wide world. Why would you want to work away from your partner? Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to sacrifice that time and miss out on all the important things? And I just find it so interesting. Like whatever the contrast is for you, it may not be veganism, spirituality or whatever, but I'm assuming it is something to do with that because you've been subscribed to my channel. Yes, how exciting. Um, so it's just like, as long as they are supporting you and you stand solid in your position and you know that when you are doing your self-love practices, you're aligning with your higher self and it feels good for you, who gives a flip what other people think. Honestly, this journey to become your greatest version is all about doing what feels right for you. Not what society tells you is right. Not what your mother and father tell you what's right, you know? You're doing exactly what feels right for you. And that, my love, is a beautiful thing. And that is something that, you know, money can't buy. Money can't buy having this internal guidance within you. But if you want help, I can read for you. And that's where I come in to help bridge the gap until you become in alignment. Because I know so many of you are getting super good at trusting your intuition. Like today, for instance, on Instagram, I did a post um, where I had three different Oracle cards and I was like, I numbered them and I was like, which one is your intuition telling you to, like, which one is your intuition drawn to? And then as they flipped through, um, it would reveal their answer. And every single one of them goes, oh my God, Mel. And I just did that as a little indication to, to be like, see, you are, you can trust your intuition. And anyway, I'm getting totally off topic, but I just wanted to just pop in today and just let you know that Contrast is a good thing, you know, and that sometimes when we experience contrast, we just need to stand alone or as Brene Brown says, brave the wilderness and just know that you are doing the right thing for you. And that is all that matters. Anyways, my love, I love you. Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Please subscribe to this channel if you're new. Hi! New videos every Tuesday, uh, Wednesday and Sunday at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. 
comment below. Let me know what came up for you. Like, what do you experience in contrast with? Because I would love to hear from you as always. And I will be responding to you for the first hour in the comment section below. I love you. I love you. I love you. If you need extra help, book a private spiritual reading or download my free self-love starter kit. Bye guys. Thank you.